Hey everyone, Vinayak here. A lot of devices in my house are smart now. And to add to the smart home universe, I picked up a smart doorbell. So in this video, I test out the 360 video doorbell. So let's check it out. We have with us today the 360D899 video doorbell. On the box, we have the 360 logo on one side, which is the company logo. On the box sides, we have the features listed. We will get to them in a few minutes. On the back, we have the model, name, number and other specifications. Let's get to the camera now. The packaging looks quite nice, which is not something that we get with Chinese products generally, unless they are big brands like Xiaomi, but I am liking this one. Everything is laid out quite well and easy to access. We have the instructions, a sticker to ward away anyone who might dare trespass on your land. The product has a good sized manual and thankfully has English instructions. This is the base station which acts as a wireless router for the doorbell, including the chime. Here's the actual doorbell. A SIM card tool? I will need to check the instructions why that's included. We are also provided a Chinese to European plug adapter for the base station. A micro USB cable is also provided to charge the doorbell's 5000mAh battery. And also mounting screws are provided. Well, that's the contents of the box. Now for the actual product. The doorbell comes with an ABS body, mostly white but with a glossy front. Let's peel off the protective film to get a better look. Here's the face. We have the camera module on top, the 360 brand logo below and right below that is the actual bell button. On the back, there's a micro USB port used to charge up the battery. Next to that is the reset setup button. Also provided is a drilling template to help mark the spots to drill holes for the screw mount. I didn't want to drill holes into my wall so used the provided 3M sticker mount. Once on the wall, just slide in the doorbell onto the mount and done. Here's the base station. It has these directional antennas and on one side we have the micro SD card slot and a set reset button. Now of course we need to set up the doorbell and it requires the 360 smart camera app. You do need a 360 account which is easy to do just register using an email id and log in. Once in, we can start installing the doorbell. This is quite simple. We set up the base station first, which we plug into the socket and turn it on. The light on top of the device would turn green when it's ready. On the app, we hit the add a doorbell button. The app prompts to check if the LED on the base station is green. It is. If it's not blinking, hit the set button on the side to initiate pairing of device. You should hear a beep. Hit heard the sound button, enter your Wi-Fi credentials. On the next page, hit the send sonic button, which sends the credentials across using an encoded sound. The base stations would connect to a Wi-Fi network and the app would prompt to enter a name for the doorbell and save. So base station done, now for the actual doorbell. Hit the button on the top left until you hear a ringing sound. The bell is found, paired and now ready for use. Let's check the feed. This is how it looks. It's very clear and responsive. I plugged in the base station in a location where we should be able to hear the ding dong sound. Mounting on the wall is easy using the 3M tape. You can also use the screws provided for added security. The doorbell cannot be removed from the mount easily and here's where the SIM tool comes into play. Use the SIM tool in the hole on top of the doorbell which allows it to be removed. As I have activated the removal detection, a warning and alarm sound starts to sound until the doorbell is placed back onto the mount or the alarm is deactivated on the app. Another feature which I like on this doorbell is, when you move close to the doorbell, a blue light encircles the bell button which makes it easy to find in the dark or low light. The button on the doorbell when pressed, the base station plays Someone a ding dong sound. The doorbell. the doorbell sound can be customized between 5 options in the app. Also at the same time, the phone displays a video call which you can pick up and speak and also see whoever is at the door. 
this call can be taken from anywhere i have picked up calls from courier deliveries when not home and could instruct them to either place it at a certain location or deliver to our neighbor's house this is quite helpful motion detection records video of anyone crosses the doorbell which is nice as it also works as a security camera night vision is another feature which works really well the ai face detection manages to detect faces moderately well and we can assign names to detected faces so next time we get to know who actually rang the bell even without opening the video notification the fish eye effect does distort the image but you do get more in the frame so our thoughts on 360 video doorbell i like the concept of the micro sd card being on the base station as if anybody tries to damage the doorbell the recordings are still safe also the ding dong chime is more audible inside the house as we can plug in the base station wherever we need it motion detection works really well and the night vision is also clear in low light the call feature to the smartphone is a nice touch as we can speak to whoever is at the door from anywhere a cloud recording feature is also active and working i have not subscribed for any but let's see how long that lasts and if they come back for any payments okay those are the pros so what are the cons one main con i noticed is the battery life it is rated for 6 months of battery life but it seems to be draining within a month uh, maybe me pinging the live feed more than once a day might be the reason but a few more tests in the coming months would confirm that the base station is what records the videos and also chimes if it loses power those features are not available until it's powered back on if you have an inverter line to the plug it would help just something to keep in mind not actually a con the video doorbell works really well and the feed also loads up quite fast even on 4g so it totally recommended the price at rupees 6999 is steep but it does make up for it with a good feature set if you have any questions do write into us at techettalkingstuff.net or you could whatsapp us at 9652578833 so that's the video thank you for watching and see you all next time make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel also make sure to click on the notification bell to be informed when new videos are added